Good day, everyone. What's going on? The name is AK, owner of Extreme Azure Productions, and one of the writers here at PC Game Enthusiast for Enthusiast Gaming. And uh, today, I'm bringing you a gameplay video of Descenders. Now, this brand new game is uh, from the indie studio of Raging Squid. You may know them for their work on Action Hank. And uh, this game is all about extreme downhill cycling. So definitely not a very common genre of game or subgenre, I guess I can say. Like just cycle games in general, you know, not a lot of them. Like the only one I can think of right now is uh, Trials from Ubisoft. But yeah, this one really stands out just because it's in such a unique, very like I said, uh, not a very explored genre. So. Basically, all this game is about is that uh, you go on different uh, procedurally generated tracks. That's the hook. The main hook is that each track is procedurally generated and you just have to complete it. It's kind of like an outrun style where you go from different environments and you have to try and complete it without uh, losing. You have a, a health meter, which you're going to see once I start a proper track. This is actually just a proper track right now. There's a health meter and you need to try and keep your health meter up as you go from level to level so you can try and complete all the environments and one goes so basically just seeing how far you can go um, the physics system really is like the main feature of this game uh, the bike feels incredibly responsive it behaves exactly how a bike in real life would so I'm really liking the physics system now this was supposed to be more or less like a first impressions video but I think this is actually my third or fourth time recording this. <laughs> I've had so much uh, just issues just trying to get the game to record properly. I uh, full with OBS, but then I finally got it to work with NVIDIA Share, which you may know is Shadowplay. So yeah, I'm now recording through NVIDIA Shadowplay, so hopefully everything should be fine. But let's just go ahead and jump right into a brand new session. And we're starting in the Highlands. There are four environments and all, as you can see. Okay, and here we are in our first level. I'm just gonna let it do a pan. Every time it builds a new trail, it gives you just a quick overview of how everything looks. Now, this is an early access title, I must say, so, uh, Optimization is kind of hit and miss right now. I'm having some performance issues here on PC, but uh, for the most part, it stays above 30 FPS. I actually have it running at 900p right now. And I just, we're gonna just jump right into it now. All right, here we go. So as you can see, tricks are a very big part of this. And like I said, you need to make sure you don't knock into anything. Because then you must immediately start over, and that costs you health. But completing the bonus objectives that are over in the top right now, I already failed this one, will give you an extra health bar. <laughs> so, this is definitely a game where you just gotta get good at it. Once you, like, get a full handling of all the controls, and just the way your bike behaves on the different trails. I can easily see this becoming a game where you'll see like a lot of montage videos here on YouTube with like the most epic jumps and tricks and whatnot. But like I said, what makes this game interesting is that each trail is procedurally generated, so every time you start up the game, it's going to be fundamentally different a different experience. Like even though the environments stay the same, the actual trails themselves are different. Alright, so that was not my best run, I just wanted to just demonstrate how everything works. I'm gonna see if we could try better in the second trail. So as you can see here, what I mentioned with the outrun style, where you go from trail to trail straight up until the end and you can take different paths. So let's see, alright so we have straight stunts, steep straight stunts, and curvy race. Now those bars that you see those represent intensity you have steepness curve and stunt intensity and right now this one seems to be the most mellow <laughs> all right so as you can see like right to the bottom where it says r and it has the 7483 that's the reputation amount and we're getting some oh serious frame drops here hold on oh performance was kind of dipped for a second there but as I was saying yeah that 7000 next to the R 
that represents uh, your reputation. And, and anytime you do tricks, it builds up that bar. And this is what allows you to like unlock new companies that will sign you and also oof, customization options for your rider as well as new bikes. So pulling off tricks is the only way to build that reputation. And anytime you crash, you actually lose reputation. So definitely, yeah, it's a game that's all about just making it to the end and not messing up. The more mistakes you make, the more reputation it costs you, but there's no like, currency in this game whatsoever. Right. Oh boy. Woo! Nearly fell there. There we go. Yeah, I'm still getting my grips of the controls. I, I've only put about, I think, either an hour or just less than an hour into this. Let's try Mellow Straight. I'm just trying to keep it nice and simple to avoid embarrassing myself here on <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> now, if I can get a top speed of 65 and not crash, that should... Oh, no, no. I do not want to crash. Ah, I was trying not to hit into that. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I think that, that's a good demonstration. <laughs> it shows you, basically, you have the concept of the game here. And like I was saying, you know, once you build up your reputation, it gives you some access to brand new items for you to customize your rider with. So actually, since I just unlocked the brand new shirt, I think that's a good time to show you the customization menu. Okay, and yeah, here it is. The shed. right here okay so you can see we have two bikes so far rusty and flat basic and jump into where I got that new shirt you can see same design just different colors I'm gonna go with the blue one since I have blue pants and you have pants you have handle a uh, handlebars the rear wheel and hats and these are all coming soon because again this game is early access so what you're seeing right now is not representative of what could be in the final game. It may very well be improved over this. So this is really a still a work in progress, basically. And so now this is a good time to show you just how procedurally generated everything is. Uh, as you notice that this is not the same first track that we went on when I originally started before I messed up. It's different. So like I said, every single time you play the game, it's a different experience, and every time you lose, and you have to start over, you're starting with a brand new track, so there's no muscle memory, basically. You can't, like, keep a track layout. Oh, wow. Ah. Can't keep a track layout in your head. Because it's going to be different every time you start a game. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Okay. I actually do have to correct myself, I think this track is the same, or at least very similar to the one, first one we did. But I know for sure that every time you start the game fresh, like every time you start it up again, ah, uh, messed up again, it does change. I've been already down to two life bars, and this is only the first track. So yeah, really, it's a trick system that gets you, it's like... You can go through a level without pulling off any like insane tricks, but then you're not going to get much reputation, and if you want to progress, you're going to have to get reputation, so... It's really a matter of just getting familiar with the controls enough to where you should be able to pull off tricks pretty easily. It's kind of like in the Tony Hawk games, you know, those are all about pulling off tricks. You know, like, once you get into that groove... Like, you know, the interesting thing about this is that uh, this isn't a race, like, there are no timers, you're not racing against any other opponent, so you're free to just try your best to just go at your own pace. Like, you're not being forced or rushed to do anything. Just go at your own pace and enjoy the game. I do like the different camera angles. I'm going to show you because we're about to finish here. 
I'm gonna show you the other camera angles when we get to the next trail. Okay, that one was pretty simple. Not bad. Alright, here we go again. Alright, so what I was saying before is that the different camera angles are pretty cool. So I call this one like the action cam, and then this one kind of like a really stable drone shot because it's so far away. It's almost like a top-down view. It's really nice. This one is my favorite. This one is the first person. And this is kind of like GoPro mode, basically, because the camera moves with your rider. So, like, if I do a flip, the camera will flip along with me. So, it kind of you kind of get a little bit disorienting. And if you get motion sickness pretty easy, yeah, this mode is definitely, this camera angle, I should say, is definitely not the best one to pick. But it is just pretty cool. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, this one really makes it immersive. Like, if this game supported VR, this would probably be pretty cool. But again, motion sickness. <laughs> I can easily see people getting motion sickness by playing this in VR. And as you can see, you could totally skip. <laughs> you can totally skip the jumps too if you want to. Again, that's not going to get you any reputation, but I'm just trying to play it safe to see if I could try and make it to the end All here. Right. Let's just jump right in. I'm gonna go to the action cam. Now this one, it looks cool. But it's kind of distracting because the camera's like shaking. And it's not like a fully... Doesn't give you like a full view because your rider's kind of blocking. Your frontal view. But I do just like the way it looks. It looks so cool. It's kind of like a movie shot. Okay. Alright, now we've made it to the boss level. Now, the boss level actually isn't like an, any boss that you have to fight or anything. Like, there's no fighting or anything in this game. This is a completely wholesome game. There's no blood, no violence or anything. So it's as clean as it gets. So the boss is actually a really big jump. And I'm just going to let the camera pan out here just to show us what we're up against. So as you can see, this track is like super curvy. And it actually kind of works against you because with the boss jump, of course you need all the speed that you can get, right? So those curves may slow us down a bit. Alright, so this is the big jump here. It's going to take us over the bridge. And there's the end. Okay. Whew. Alright, which camera angle should I go with? <laughs> Let's try the drone shot. Just to give us, because this gives us like the best view of the track ahead. Like, I can actually cut across this entire track. Like, I can go out into the grass and just ride if I want to. But, since this is the boss jump, we need to try and stay straight as possible. Okay. Now we're coming down. Try and pick up enough speed. Oh no, that hail bale is in the way! Oh no! Oh, okay! Oh no, I'm in trouble! Ugh. Okay, so yeah, cannot come straight down onto the ground. The hay bale needs to move! Oh my goodness, it's like right in the middle! Gonna have to try get on the ramp. Get on the ramp. Get on the ramp. No. <laughs> totally fail. Oh my goodness. If that hail bill wasn't in the way, I wouldn't have to move off to the side. But we did get a brand new bike. Okay, that's great. Did at least get a brand new bike. I, I feel happy about that. Oh my goodness. You know what? I think I've showed you how bad my playing skills with this game are. <laughs> but uh, the game, when you see this video, the game would have actually launched on steam uh developers access to make sure that we only start posting content like videos and stuff and reviews when it launches on february 9th so that's when this video should be going up and i just hope you enjoyed the video you know i just wanted to give you a quick uh, gameplay demonstration of how it looks and if you happen to have a system similar to mine this should give you like a good indication of how your specs are going around and actually let's just quickly just jump right into the resolution and graphic settings here so as you can see 
There are different presets, but everything is kind of set to high, and there are different uh, things you can toggle on off. Death of Field, Bloom, Ambient Occlusion, God Rays, and Motion Blur. And V-Sync can also be toggled on or off. I, like I said, I have it set to 900p just to try and keep the frame rate as stable as possible. It can run 1080, but uh, I'll have to scale the graphic settings down to keep things smooth. So I just wanted to make the game look as good as possible. Try and get a balance between graphics uh, settings and resolution, but... Yeah, that just about wraps it up here. Uh, I should have the review ready to also go up on February 9th, so hopefully if my schedule allows, this video and the review is going to go up at the same time. So you can check that review out over at GameEnthusiast.net. I will have a link posted down below. And also make sure to check out our sister websites at Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox Enthusiast. All three of those websites also have their own respective YouTube channels, so you can check out the content on there. And if you like listening to my stupid voice, you can go ahead and check out my content over at Extreme Azure. That link will also be down below in the description. I make a whole lot of different videos, mostly related to gaming, but I occasionally do other stuff like vlogs. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And leave a comment down below, tell me what you think about Descenders, will you be picking it up? And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe for more content from all of us here on the PC Gaming Enthusiast team. I would like to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Say K, signing off.